This is Sweet June. I'm back. I'm doing part two to the Confessions of a Single Mother. Fortification has consequences. Um, part two. Uh, this is very important, ladies. Very important. Um, specifically to the you young ladies out there. Very, very important. Um, didn't really, uh, not trying to put my business out there, but telling my story because I just want you you guys to know that fornication does have consequences. I just want you to realize that. You know, uh, out here trying to do things your way, the world's way, Satan's way, dire consequences. You know, dire consequences. And, you know, we got, it's, it's very important that we do things God's way. Because it's a protection. It really is. It's a protection. Um, Jehovah God, He loves us and He doesn't want to see us hurt. He doesn't want to see us suffer. Because He loves us. And, and, and He's not trying to restrict us. He just, he's like a loving Father. He's trying to protect us. And this is the reason why He, you know, He puts these things and He's not trying to restrict us, not trying to be mean. You know, he, he he's trying to protect us because he's like a loving father. He doesn't want to see us hurt. And he realized that if we do these things, there's consequences to him. That we're going to have to suffer because he's our creator and he knows what's best for us. Um, so as I was saying, you know, um, my, my 11 year old son, he's growing up without the benefit of his father in his life. Um, and I have to live with that every day of my life. Every day I have to live with, um, I got involved with his father and, you know, he's asked questions when he was younger. He would ask me questions and, um, I debated on whether I should tell him the truth or I should lie. Well, I just didn't think it was right for me to lie to him. It wasn't fair to him. And I was very honest. Every question that he asked me, I was very honest with him. And I let him know. And then he asked me one time. Because my son is a little outspoken for his age. I mean, you know, he's this is his personality. He's kind of outspoken. And he was like, then why did you sleep with him, Mom? Because <laughs> he, he asked me, you know, would, you know, was I in a relationship? Was I in love? He asked me those questions. I mean, children are very smart. And then he asked me, why did you sleep with him then, Mom? <laughs> and so, <laughs> I, it was hard for me to answer that question, you know. And, you know, my son went through a lot, you know. He's a little trooper. I, I love him so much. You know, he's a little trooper. And, you know, he's trying to be strong. But at different times, you know, he... You know, would question and want to understand why his father is not in his life. So, ladies, there is a consequence. There's a consequence to having sex outside of marriage, having children outside of marriage. It is dire consequences. You're not the only one that's going to have to suffer, the child is going to have to suffer. And you have to live with that for the rest of your life. And it's just, it's, it's different if you get married, and even if the marriage doesn't work out and you get a divorce, and you're a single parent, that's a little bit of a different situation because, you know, the the child um, probably most, most likely will have some interaction with their father, you know, well in some cases they don't, but, you know, it's just a little different, whereas if you get with somebody and you know you're out here in the world and you're just messing around you're gonna you be getting involved with guys that don't care nothing about you they're you know only getting involved with you for one reason and they don't care about you or the child and it's the serious consequences to that you know and I, I I wanted to tell my story because I wanted you young ladies to realize that getting involved with these people 
with these guys and you're not married, you know, no prospects of marriage. He doesn't want to, you know, he just wants to have a good time. It's no good, ladies. It's no good. You know, you got to do it God's way. You know, got to do it God's way. And it's best to just wait to abstain. Save yourself um, until you meet someone that is worthy of your body. Until he's worthy of your body. Until he's until he proves himself that he's worthy to be the father of your child. Cause you know this man that I got involved with, I didn't even. I I realized you know found some things out about him. Cause I was just you know uh, dating him and in the process of dating him I you know realized that he was a drinker and he used drugs um well by that time I found out I was pregnant and then I I really didn't know him I knew him but I didn't really know him that well and then I didn't find out a lot of things about him until after I got pregnant a lot of things I didn't find out about this guy until after I got pregnant so I really, really felt stupid. Really felt like an idiot. You know, realized that he had. Well, I, I knew that you know he had um, kids, other children by different women. I had already knew that. You know, um, I should have not just walked away from him. I should have ran. <laughs> but um, you know, he had me thinking he was the father of the year. He kind of tricked me in a sense because he had me thinking that he was the father of the year. You know, showing me videotapes of him and his kids. and He got pictures of his kids around the house. And, you know, he you know he making me think that he's the father of the year, you know. That he's he's in his, was in his children's life. And then after I got pregnant by him, I finds out that he wasn't, he ain't been there for none of them kids. And so... At various different times throughout the last 11 years, I've been in and out of court with this man, trying to get child support, uh, sue for child support. And he, guess what? The only time I get it is when they put him in jail. I've predominantly had to raise my son uh, pretty much on my dime for the most part. You know, and it's been a struggle. So, you know, as of today, 2008, went to court, um, had a discussion with him, you know, because he went through a process to where he was denying my son for a while there. At first, he denied my son and tried to say that my son wasn't his. And, you know, a lot of, a lot of people knew him in the community and, and um, would look at my son and say, oh, yeah. You know, yeah, he looks like him. So finally in 2008, you know, I met up with him in court and met a, had a discussion with him. And then he, you know, showed him a picture and he, you know, realized that, admitted that um, he, you know, was my son's father. And um, to make a long story short, you know, he said he was going to come see him. Well, his 2011, he hasn't even, he hasn't popped up yet. So he hasn't even made a cameo in my son's life. No, not so much as uh, come over or call, phone call, asking me how he's doing. You know, um, you know, I, it's by the grace of God, you know, it's a good thing that <laughs> my son has me and I'm who I am. Um, for all he know, I could have been a crackhead or something like that. You know, he didn't even take the time to find out what kind of living situation his son was in. You know, don't care. You know, I mean, it, it's just, this is the type of man that I'm dealing with. And sometimes I stop and think, I can't believe I sleep, I slept with a guy like this. You know, I say, I, I just cannot believe that this is the type of person that I chose to get involved with. You know, this, you know, but. You know, I learned a lot. I'm learning a lot. You live and you learn, and I learned a lot. But ladies, I, I'm telling my story to prove a, to prove a point, and I'm letting you know that there are consequences to fornication. You know, 
Um, could have been worse. I could have got. I could have called AIDS. And uh, you know, I guess if I had my choice, I'd take a baby over AIDS any day. And I was also afraid of that as well. You know, um, when I went for my first exam, you know, I had a you know uh, this standard that they give you HIV test, and um, um, I was very scared. You know, I was very much afraid, you know, that um, I might have had AIDS. But thank God, you know, test came out all right. So, ladies, I just want you to know that there is serious consequences to fornication. And, you know, sometimes you're not the only one that has to suffer. Sometimes that child is going to have to suffer. You know, so I just wanted to let you ladies know, you know, that that child has to suffer. And, you know, my son is suffering as a result of, of you know, his father and myself. You know, fornication has serious consequences. You know, you, you got to do it God's way. You know. If you do it God's way, you can never go wrong, ladies. You do it His way, you will never go wrong. In, in a million years, you will never go wrong. It's a protection. It's a protection for you. You don't have to worry about, um, you know, dealing with a situation like that. And then not only that, you know, um, you know, your chances of getting married is um, it's a little bit slimmer. Uh, particularly, particularly if you're a black woman, if you have children out of wedlock, because a lot of men don't want to take on somebody else's kids. You know, a lot of men don't want to raise anybody else's children. Half the time, they don't even want to take care of theirs and be there for theirs. So how are they gonna be there for yours? So your your chances of getting married, you know, decreases when you have children out of wedlock. There's dire consequences, and that's the point that I wanted to make, and I thought it was important for me to come on here to tell my story, to let you ladies know that it, the best thing to do is do it God's way, abstain till marriage, because you're going to save yourself a lot of heartache, you're going to save yourself a lot of pain, and you won't be bringing children into this world that won't have the benefit of, the fa of a father in their life. Wait till you find someone that is that is worthy you know that will put a ring on your finger that not only will put a ring on the, your finger but someone that loves you and respects you that if you have his child he will be there uh, for that child make sure that he has good values you know that he he's a godly man that he he's, he's he has uh, good values and and make sure that you know all those things are in order before you even think about being with this guy you know, make sure he honors you with marriage before you even think about even even giving your body. You gotta you gotta make you gotta make him work. You know, no no man is deserving worthy enough to really have to be with you without him giving being you he giving you the benefit of marriage. And it and goes back to what I was saying in my other blogs, ladies ladies is about knowing your worth. You know. So I thought it was very important for me to come on here and tell my story because I, if I, I want to, you know, if I could save one of you ladies from making the same mistake that I made and I've accomplished a great goal. But ladies, is very, this is very important. Fornification has consequences. You know, and sometimes you have to pay. And other people have to suffer for them as well. Okay, sweet June 2010.